Welcome to Midnight Mule FPL. I'm Midnight Mule and this is the video for Euro 2024 match day two. What are my plans? If you're after some good tips, don't bother watching this video. <laughs> you're not going to learn anything. I'm just going to show you what I'm going to do and the logic behind how I chose my team. But before we do that, let's see who's top of the Midnight Mule Mini League after the first match day. And look at that, Midnight Mule FPL is the top scorer in the league. So that's very nice. It says here 79 points, here it says 81. I think it is 81 really and it's, it's still updating. So my team, and I'll show you how I chose it shortly. But those that scored any points worth talking about was Mbappe for 4, Havertz 9, Yamel 6, Captain Bellingham 24, Verts 10, Sabolzai 5. I said his name wrong, sorry. Trent 7. Cancelo 4 and Pickford 6 and there was no real skill in choosing this I just went for more or less popular players and I'll show you what that looks like just now so this is the transfers page and if I just show you each position and I've got it ordered by the most popular I simply chose the most popular keeper which was Pickford for England that's fair enough now money was really tight so I didn't bother getting a second keeper that was going to play I just went for a 4 million keeper and that happened to be uh, the turkey keeper. So basically, whatever Pickford scored, that's what I was going to get. But it meant I had a little bit of money elsewhere. So I guess that was one thing that was slightly different to other content creators I saw. If we look at defenders, you'll see that my five defenders, my five defenders are in the top seven. So Van Dijk is the most popular, took him. Rudiger was second most popular at five and a half. But Mittelstadt, also for Germany, he was one and a half cheaper and he was in the top six, so I took him instead. Took Cancelo. Didn't take from Pog because one, Van Dyke was cheaper and two, there was thinking, thoughts, rumours that he wasn't going to start and I didn't want a player that wasn't going to start. Now, I did see him come on and I thought he was very, very good. So if I knew he was starting, I'd say he's a good player to have. But I'm not going to change it now. And so that's just that. Apart from that, I had Trent, DeMarco and Middlestat. That's my defence. If we look at my midfield, equally as skillful choosing this. Three most popular, Bellingham, Verts, Fernandez. Now, of course, I'm running low on money, so I didn't take Foden, but I already had Bellingham, so that was okay. So then I took Rodri at six and a half and then couldn't afford De Bruyne or Musiala. So I took Slobozlo. There you go. A trained monkey could have done this. <laughs> really wasn't that clever. And then for the forward slots... Mbappe was the most popular, took him. Not enough money for Kane and I already had three England players. Couldn't afford Ronaldo. I was all right to have Havertz. I knew him from uh, the FPL, of course. Couldn't afford Lukaku. And I did particularly want you, Mel, so I'm glad that I got him. The reason I know him is I play a game called Ultimate Champions and he's in that place for Barcelona, 16 years old, and he's brilliant in that. So I thought if I can get you, Mel, as one of the most popular players, I would do. So that was it. I simply chose popular players and the team did all right. So in this coming game week, match day two, I should say the coming match day, Mbappe is injured. I'm going to take him out and then it's going to be between Ronaldo and Lukaku. I was at chess tonight and I didn't see Ronaldo play, but I did see Lukaku yesterday and I thought he was very good. He did have the ball in the, couple of, in the back of the net a couple of times. So I'm currently planning to get Lukaku and I'll do this transfer tomorrow morning. And then Verts, he will get to wear the old mule hat for match day one. If he gets 10 points or so, I keep him. If not, I choose someone for the next day. And that was it. That's my plans for match day two and what happened in match day one. Not much skill particularly, unless picking popular players is a skillful thing to do. But I don't think it is really. But hey, it's fun. What do I know? Thanks for watching. Bye. <laughs>